I'm going to do tomorrow's video today. That's yesterday to you. I was due to be playing FIFA with Gio. I haven't got the um the thing all warmed up. Look, the light's on, the light's on, but nobody's home. EA Sports don't work. It can't connect us via the internet. Ridiculous, isn't it, really? I guess I have to put on a back burner. I was due to be Burnley. He was due to be West Ham. We all know what was going to happen, but I was going to try and make it difficult for him. I was going to do it tight. I was going to, I was going to park the bus. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe we'll get online later. Maybe you'll, uh, we'll, we'll have that uploaded for you at some point this week. So what I thought I would do is rather than whinge about everybody's reaction to the fact there's been no football, rather than moan about basically football in general, getting it wrong, not having their finger on the pulse, so to speak, we'll do a little West Ham video. Now, what we'll do, I think, is we'll have a look at the current squad and whether they'll be off-ski or whether they're staying. But what we'll look at it in light of the fact that some people just might not want to be here. There ain't going to be much money in football. Within the context of the current situation, later on in the week, myself and Gio are doing a... Um, we're having a look at some players in the French League, I believe, because David Moyes has said he wants to look at the French League. And of course, he wants to look at the championship, which we know. So let's just go through the players one at a time. Lucas Fabianski. Now, um, I think he stays. I think Lucas Fabianski stays. Whatever happens, he's very well settled. You've got to remember Fabianski. It's not like he's going to be pining to go home. He's been in this country for years and years and years. We're at Arsenal, at Swansea, and he's obviously very, very settled here. So... I think he stays. He's not also, he's also he's not on this he's not burdening the club with massive amounts of money. So, Roberto. Well, I'd like to think Roberto will be off, but who's gonna take him? So I think there may well be an option in all of these, which is settlement. I think we may be making a settlement at some point for him to go. So you've got David Martin. David Martin's not on a big wage, which I think is why he stays. I think he's only got one year left on his contract. They're not going to pay it up. He's a he's a bit of a folk hero at West Ham, isn't he? Apparently, he's very, very good in the coaching department, good on the training ground, possibly our lowest earner in terms of first-team wages as well. So, I think he stays. Darren Randolph's a little bit more interesting because if we're going to be looking to cut the cloth, if we're going to be looking to, to save some money, and we will, are we going to need Darren Randolph? I'm not so sure that we do. Is anybody going to be coming to take him and pay him money for him? I'm not so sure, but that's going to be a theme of everything I say. That is going to be a theme of the Premier League. It's going to be a theme of almost all divisions. I think once football was realised that the same fees do not apply, those, those players, unless you are the richest clubs in the world, those players are not going to be going for the same fees they used to. We may start getting into some more realistic transfer values. We may get some swap deals, you know, that that sort of thing. People may start getting a little bit more creative with the way that they um, they exchange and trade football players. Randolph may well be one of those. He may well be a very useful acquisition for another team. The only reason being, I said Fabianski will stay. I think Dave Martin will stay. I think Trott's here. I think Anand's here. Do we need six goalkeepers? No. No, not at all. So I would think he may well be surplus to requirements. Winston Reed's another one. Winston Reed's over um, in the US. I mean, clearly he's not playing because they're not playing any sport over there, just the way they're not playing anywhere else. Um, he's still got time to run on his contract. I think we may well find an agreement is made there. Because, he, again, he is on an awful lot of money. Um, can't. Can't see a massive bid coming in for him, in all honesty. So, well, any bid, and I because I think we'd take a bid, but I just can't see it happening because he's yet to prove his fitness. The American adventure, in that sense, as a, as an exercise in proving his fitness, either to come back to us or go to another club, has not worked out because well because there's no sport, as I said. Aaron Cresswell, he stays. Aaron Cresswell stays. It's as simple as that. Um, it's. He only recently signed a new contract, don't forget. Don't think there's going to be a load of clubs coming in for him. Settled at West Ham. Solid player, really, let's be fair. Fabian Belbuena, here's an interesting one. Um, 
I don't know how much Moyes is going to race him. It's really hard to say. Uh, the, the nightmare game in the cup, of course, where he couldn't um, couldn't pass his way out of a paper bag, could he? And and he's we've not really seen much of him since. Um, funnily enough, even in the current climate, I think we even get our money back on him, and maybe even a little bit more. But we've spoken so much on these channels about how skin football is going to be. If we think the Premier League is going to be skin, the Premier League will still be the richest league. It's just going to have less money. I mean, the, the real, you know, ev everyone else in world football is going to be ridiculously skinned. So is anybody going to be able to come and give us 15 million for Val Buena? No, you've got to forget about that. But bear in mind, we bought him for four. Will someone come and buy him for five or six? Give us a small profit. That may well happen. Zabaleta, of course, is off. And I think, of course, we've got Ngakia, who can play straight away in that position. And Ben Johnson. It's an instant way of saving money. We don't. That is a that's an instant saving straight away. His his contracts run out anyway. Angelo Bonner, I just think he stays. I think he's a solid mainstay of the team, and and I'm really really he's just become part of West Ham. Let's be fair. Um, I think you can. He's not. He's you know he's an experienced player. He's not so old that he's only got a year left in him. And and you know what? It's not the same as being at fullback anyway. You know what? You can get away with a little bit more at centre back. You haven't got to get up and down the pitch all the time, all game, in the same way that a fullback has to. I think Ogbonna stays. It's a Diop's the interesting one. We know there will be clubs that are after him. No one's going to come in and take your worst players. And I'll mention one of them in a second. Okay, but the clubs are still going to come in and try and take your best players. Now, whilst I don't think. I think, I think Diop's gone, by the way, would be my answer to this one. Whilst I don't think that we get these, these 60 million that we might have got for us a Diop, it might be a case of you, you're accepting 30, 35 million or, so, or something like that. You know, you, it may well be half of what his value might have been at its peak. But I also think that Diop's replacement is then cheaper because it has a knock on market value effect. I think if you can sell it's a Diop for 30 million quid. And then you buy somebody like Joe Rodden from Swansea, who is probably the best up and coming centre half around from the championship, which we know David Moyes likes. For 15 million, it's still good business. Swansea would have liked to have sold before all this Joe Rodden for 25 million. It ain't happening. We would have liked to have sold it's a Diop for 60 million. It ain't happening. You ain't getting that money back. So I think it's a Diop goes. Ryan Fredericks, I just think he's on too much money. Now, he's again, he's one of those players that he's prohibitively on too much money. I think we'll look at it and think, oh, 50 grand, a lot of money. We need to trim we need to trim some wages from there. But I also think that maybe another club looks at him and thinks that's an awful lot of money. The real bonus that we have in terms of Ryan Fredericks is the fact that he um, he didn't cost us a penny. So actually, if someone else is picking him up on a free, they may all take him. I think Fredericks goes. For the reasons that I said earlier on, I think Ben Johnson, I think Agakia can cover that position. If he's on 50 grand a week, I think Zabaleta is on 80 grand a week. That's a massive saving by letting those two go. Um, Arthur Masuaku's um, is half a massive problem, quite frankly, because, well, he's not half a he is he is a massive problem. Uh, because no one's going to want to come and buy him. Um, he signed a five-year contract. Maybe, if somebody is interested, we are, we're going to just have to... just have to suck it up, like it and lump it, quite frankly. We're just going to have to say, all right, fair enough, Arthur. Off you, you know, off you go. We'll take two million from whatever club might fancy him. And his wages are gone. Um, I think... I. I just think that is going to be very, very difficult. But, again, the same thing. Ben Johnson can cover left-back as well. I just think if you're cutting your cloth, you're shrinking the squad slightly, that's something that, that needs to be done. Uh, midfielders, Manuel Lanzini. Um, I think Lanzini stays. I really do. Um, I just don't think there's any value in getting rid of him at all. None. None whatsoever. We will not get... Not only will we not get our money back, we won't get anywhere near the money. I, I still think the player's there. I hope during this time that he's come back um, that 
I don't know. It's going to be really interesting. Personalities and characters are going to come into all this a lot. You're hoping a lot of players look at it and really miss football, want to be playing football, make them realise how lucky they've got it, come back. I'm hoping Lanzini's going to be one of them. We're certainly not going to get any money for him. Um, Robert Snodgrass will stay around. He's a big character in the team. I think he's... A, a, it's, it's a funny one because I think they were about to activate an option for a contract extension. Not sure if it was done yet. If it is done, then all well and good, he stays around. If it's not done yet, I don't think they'll do it. Just purely because if they maybe not be able to afford the extension. Lanzini's on massive money. We're going to take a massive hit on Lanzini, so I think they, the other players are different. I don't think anyone's going to come up and pick up Lanzini's wages. So that's going to be a really, really tough one. Sanchez is off. We don't have to worry about it. Mark Noble, clearly, I don't even have to speak about because he's a captain. He's West Ham and he's staying. Uh, Fornal stays. Fornal stays because I am... Um, it's not I, It's not I'm saying... I'm not trying to pick and choose who I want to stay and stuff like that. It's whether they will stay or not. Because ideally, I'd like Diop to stay. But I think he's gone. I think Fornal stays, though. I really do. I think he's... Uh, I think he's got a lot of character. I think he's got a lot about him. I've told the story many times about Oxford when we lost 4-0. He was the only player to come over and actually come and start shaking hands with the crowd. Didn't stand 10 metres away. Actually came. He was the only one. He was saying sorry. Gave his shirt to a kid. And, and the only one that felt brave enough to approach what was a hostile crowd because we were annoyed at going out. Out in a competition. There's character about him. There's no doubt about that. Jack Wilshere. Jack goes. Jack goes, Jack reaches a settlement. I think even you're hearing public utterances from him now where he's saying it didn't work out. Again, I think there's a settlement to be had there because at that point, the start of next season, he will have one year left. Uh, Thomas Suchek, it's clear. I approached the club. I asked the club about this. If we're in the Premier League, he stays. If we're in the Championship, he doesn't. The deal is already done. Declan Rice stays. Might seem a little bit surprising. Um, listen to Gio's video, what he said about the midfield there. Um, uh, what do you say? Uh, Kovacic and Jorginho. But of course, Kante there as well. And he got the young lad coming through Gilmore. And Roy Keane says he's world class. Uh, between that and between what Gio said, I'm sort of quite convinced that Chelsea aren't gonna aren't gonna want him. Um, the only other one is Manchester United. Now Manchester United <laughs> apparently are are going to be buying. We'll want to buy Harry Kane. Um, Manchester United are uh, going to buy Billing, who's a very, very good player from Burner. Excellent young player. Um, apparently, they're after Sancho. They're not going to be able to keep buying players for big money. If they want Declan Rice, they're going to have to come up, I think, with a creative trade. I just don't think there is one at Manchester United. I don't think there's one that offers us any value at all. Maybe you can think of something. If you do, pop it in the comments below. Off the top of my head, I don't, I just don't, can't see anyone coming in and paying the money. Um, because I do think that's the one player we probably will hold out for. Will we get the, you know, it got to a point where we thought, oh, you know, 80 million, Declan Rice worth 80 million. Is he now? No. But don't get me wrong, I don't think you're coming in with 30 and getting him. I think he is almost the one player we'll draw a line under and say, no, we're not, we're just not doing that. So I think Declan Rice stays and, and we'll be pleased about that. Uh, Yarmolenko, he's off. He's off. He really is. He, he has to be. If, if there's a deal to be done somewhere, again, there's a lot of deals that are going to have to be done where you might have to make, you might have to pay 30 grand of somebody's wages or, or something like that in order for a club to take them. But that's going to have to be done. I think Yarmolenko is going to be one of them because don't forget, we've said in another video, the, the Dian Garner and, and Nathan Holland video that I did, um, uh, Kai Corbett coming through as well. Uh, if we're going to cut our cloth, we can do things. Of course, we've got Gerard Bowen there who's just going to make that side of the pitch his own, really, isn't it? So, there you go. Uh, Felipe Anderson. Yeah, I can see it happening. I really, really can. I think there's... Um, I just think there's a massive willingness uh, from him to, to leave. Uh, I've said, and you know, I've said so many times on this channel uh, that... You know, he hasn't brought his family with him. Um, his sister came and set him up in the country. His sister's not here at the moment. He's on his own. Doesn't speak the language. It's not worked out. Some players just don't acclimatise. Some players just don't pick up the language and stuff like that. Felipe Anderson's one of them. So, um, and it's not really worked out. I just mentioned two young wingers we've got coming through as well. Uh, it's also a case of, you know, um, David Moyes is going to be looking in the championship and looking to see who we can, who we can bring in there. Uh, Jared Bowen, of course, um, if we get relegated, he has a £20 million release clause. Um, I don't like to speak of anyone making any sort of 
benefit or currency from the current situation because people are dying and that's that's not obviously that is a very very bad thing um but whilst beforehand if it had finished the season scored loads of goals there would have been a ton of clubs who might have thought 20 million is affordable uh, there ain't going to be too many clubs who are going to come in and think actually i'm going to pay 20 million for him so um i think even if we did get relegated i think he'd probably stay at west ham anyway sebastian hell is probably the toughest one to call actually really do i just i can't I mentioned before, unless there is some sort of swap deal with with Yusuf Paulson, who Moyes seems to like, I understand why he likes him. I can't see anyone coming and paying the money for him. And I just wonder, it, it just boils down to Moyes, how much of a tune does he feel he is going to get out of Sebastian Haller? If I had to, if I had to bet, if you gave, if I had to put a fiver on him staying, on him being here next season. Or him going, I think if I had to put a five on it, I would bet on him staying. But I think this is, as I say, it's the hardest one to do. Uh, a Jetty, he's off. Why would he stay? He's not featuring. Um, again, he probably wants to go home or somewhere where he's wanted. Just can't see him staying around at all. Uh, Moyers didn't fancy him. Pellegrini didn't fancy him. Uh, the fans don't know who he is. He probably don't want to be. I just don't. It ain't worked out. Really has it. Let, let's be let's be perfectly honest with you. Um, so excuse me. I went, good job, I'm not a vampire. See that sun there. Um, anyway, one more, one more on the list. Well, I'm I'm assuming the list's right. It's from West Ham's own website. For goodness' sake, it's Mikhail Antonio. And Mikhail Antonio stays at West Ham. Who wouldn't want Mikhail Antonio to stay at West Ham? Mikhail Antonio would want to stay at West Ham. Us fans want him to stay at West Ham. David Moyes will want him to stay. At West Ham, it's as simple as that. And as I said, for all the other reasons I mentioned in this video, the prospect of Crystal Palace coming back in and paying thirty million for anyone, never mind Miguel Antonio, it just ain't gonna happen. And as I say, looking at something very, very different. Those are the players in our squad, but we're looking at something very different for bringing players in. It'd be the same for every club. You're looking at creative deals, swap deals loan deals to, to get rid of the liability of your wage bill you're going to be looking at your academy and maybe one or two permanent signings but i but i expect permanent signings to be to be quite rare unless they are freebies whereby you feel that you're doing a favor by getting somebody off there off their wage bill. There you go. We have a West Ham video. So a bit different from the norm, isn't it? I'm sure I'd be. Um, I'm sure someone will put their foot in it in football and do something quite crass and greedy. In the next 24 hours, we'll have something else to talk about. Um, with that, let me know. Let me know what you think. It's a topic. It's something to talk about. And oh, no. Actually, I'm going to do it. Um, we've got to name that noble. It's too late. It's too late near the end of the video. I will do the name that noble tomorrow. I've got one. A bit easier. There were a few people who's got none of them. I got none of them. Um, this this one's a little bit easier. I'll do it. We'll do the name that noble tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Take care of yourselves. See you very soon.